Over the years that I've had a normal prosthesis, I've experienced the, res the results of research done by other people. When I was asked to participate in the steering committee, I was eager to be able to use my experiences to benefit research. It was challenging, but at the very same time, rewarding. The patients had to be educated and supported in the process with background information and materials. The lead researcher achieved this by arranging a pre-meeting for us before the full meeting of the steering committee. She actively listened to our questions and expressed a desire to hear what we had to say. This helped us to gain a sense of what we said had value. It was a steep learning curve and at times daunting. I was introduced some of the terminology used for the first time in research. Past situations, traumatic events and emotional wounds would sometimes surface in unexpected ways during the meetings because I had to go back in that place and time and remember how I had felt. What were the uncertainties of my care? Throughout the review and sorting of the survey responses, our patient views were considered and incorporated. We are treated with both dignity and respect. The steering committee had a broad sense of perspectives, but we all had a common goal, that of setting priorities for head and neck cancer research. The process of writing the uncertainties into PICO format felt very academic, but it enabled me to see uncertainties from both sides, both as a researcher and as a patient. Sharing the workshop day with other patients provided a very strong emotional reminder to me of why we need more research in head and neck cancer and why it is so important. During the workshop, the facilitators provided encouragement and leadership to all the participants during the discussions. It felt very empowering to have patients and clinicians working together as equals in a supportive framework. The uncertainties that we identified will hopefully be used in research to directly impact the lives of head and neck cancer patients. Thank you.